All right, guys, so this here is the floating boat. And this is how you get up to the floating boat. I mean, just look at these, look at this bridge, man. I was kind of skeptical. I'm like, your girl is kind of heavy on the heavy side. And I was like, bro, what the hell is this? What have I gotten myself into? Oh my God, the pictures look so good on Airbnb. But I'm like, girl, y'all ain't tell me about this bridge. It should have been some type of warning about this little old tiny bridge. Because the girl is kind of on the big side, okay? Because I ain't got time for it. Now there were only two buildings that were beside me. So those two were um, actually businesses. One of them was like a, um, a restaurant bar where they partied all night, the first night I was there. And on the other side was something else, but it wasn't even, I think it wasn't even, um, it was empty. So if something was to happen, you know, uh-uh, your girl was out there by herself. So this is me here trying to make the best out of the situation because I was scared as fuck. Not gonna lie. Okay. You feel me? And look at them just cruising on the boat. <laughs> this is cool. I just I think um when you come out here it's gonna be one of those times you just have to be ready to to be at peace and chill. Like Cause like I said, like even Wi-Fi is not working over here. So guys, the Wi-Fi nor my cellular data was working out here. It was horrible. Not working the way that it should. And so this is just the place I needed to get away from and just relax. You feel me? Girl, that was all lies. I didn't get any peace or relaxation there at all. Relax. Take my feedback and just relax. they do they do leave you food look at this if you don't have any food will you come in look what they have pasta and this is his cousin's pasta sauce mama mia's pasta sauce mama louis yes indeed that is so sweet right i bought this i had to bring me some food i already bought me some food and girl i got the wide too girl so excuse my miss because i've been doing my readings because y'all know i do but this is the kitchen area it's really just a little small getaway for you to be able to get away from home and you know have peace tranquil over here on the river let me show y'all my steak <laughs> i got me a steak we want to got me a steak today baby and then um i got me some of those turkey legs because i'm gonna be here for a couple of days and some sausages i'll be here of course you know i had to get my cream and coffee and they do have um dish the only thing about here is that they don't have um they don't have wi-fi the air is fine, even though it's a wall unit. This is what I bought with me. Um, this is a little Wi-Fi portal thing you can carry with you to, yeah, it's portable Wi-Fi basically. Um, and I do, and I'm able to do that, okay? <laughs> and of course y'all know, I gotta have my cards with me. All right, and this is the room. This is the room, it's a little small. But this is just a little small. It's not supposed to be for everybody. This is for me to have me a little getaway. Oh, these are beds here. They look, it's a couch, but it's also, these are beds. This is a, um, considered a queen size, a king, oh my, a twin size bed. And this one is two. So whoever wants to come sleep in here. So if you want to play fake news, real news, you want to play cards. What is this? This is some, ooh. Oh, it's some, some song, girl, these, this is music. What am I talking about? To the bathroom, let you guys see the bathroom. I already got my, some of my stuff up in here. So it's, it's clean, it was clean, it's small. Like I said, this is more like, it, it reminds me of something that I would probably have, um, traveling vans. Yeah, and so you do get, um, they leave you with washing stuff, okay? It's, it's cool. At least you're able to wash. <laughs> Cause this, even the toilet is kind of like a toilet that you would have um, on one of the. 
a sprinter van <laughs> yes a sprinter van you know how you fix it up and you put the bed and stuff it's almost like that like the bathrooms and the rooms are similar to that all right guys let's go ahead and get this um ground beef started All right, guys, look at here. This is starting to look so good. Oh my God, so good. This steak is gonna be amazing. All right, guys, here is the finished product. This is the steak, shrimps, and baked beans yes indeed i'm about to get ready to tear this shit up all right guys so i tried to make the best out of this night <laughs> as the night grew darker and dimmer it just seemed like it got worse but you know i tried to make the best out of it and um yeah the steak and the oh my god the steak and shrimp turned out amazing so good so On the, on the bench, first I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bench. Spending all the back, like here I go again. I go again. Outside says the chirp, not a camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels yeah. on. Why you acting different when the camera's Why on? Why you acting different like your paper long? A day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say. Alright guys, so as the night got really um, later, it started to rain and it was really, really loud and the water kept beating up under the, the actual boat's house and all I could hear was boom, boom. And it was like, you would hear something like all of the rain was like really loud, got really, really hard. And I'm telling you, it was really unbearable because um, even the water up underneath the boat home was like beating up under the water, like under the, the the home. And I was like, oh my God, I'm just so afraid. And you can feel, you can literally feel the boat move. The boat kept moving. It's a home, right? So it's on the water, but it's not really on the water, but you can feel it moving. Like it's, it's moving like this. So every time the rain would come and the wind was going, it was like whoosh, whoosh. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so scared. I tried to sleep it off, but I kept being awakened and like, the, the night after that morning, I finally went to sleep around five o'clock. <laughs> and then some guy came knocking on the door, y'all. Yes, some guy came knocking on the door. There's nobody out there, but here comes some guy knocking on the door early in the morning. He's like, um, do you own a GMC truck? I was like, no. He said, do you own a T, you know, he asked me like two or three times and I'm like, no, I don't. Nobody here has a truck like that. I guess they had them bagged in or what, but that just was kind of weird to me. All of that shit. And I'm like, dude, it's just time to cut this off. I didn't stay the next night and I didn't, and then I cut off the, the Airbnb. I cut it off <laughs> a day earlier. I was like, nope, we're not even gonna go through this. We're not going through this. I'm not gonna be the black girl that's gonna be left in the water. No, indeed. <laughs> I'm not going to be the black girl that's left in the water. Okay? You're not going to throw my ass in the water and get rid of me. So I decided I was staying right here in my mama's house. I was like, no, nah, girl. Mm -mm. Nope. Not today. <laughs> but this experience was like, whoa. I just, I never want to experience that again because I thought I was getting away by myself. But that right there just shows me you, some places you don't need to go by yourself. Period. And it was like the area um where we parked it was a whole bunch of rvs over there so you don't know who's in the rvs like who's there like who are you around you just never know but anyway this taught me a huge lesson i'm not doing it again okay all right but anyway i thank y'all for watching okay y'all make sure y'all hit the like button comment and subscribe and let me know one of your worst experience in an airbnb this is not my worst experience. We will have another story time. I will let you know about the, the worst time that I had at an Airbnb. So stay tuned. Make sure y'all subscribe so y'all can hear all about it.